The day is the 20th of October, 2024. And <clears throat> now I want to clarify some points and to make some additions because obviously I have missed something. So to start with, this is only the first step. What I'm talking now is to my students in uh, Babylonian astrology and astronomy. Mm. Who already started practicing. <sighs> so the next step, the next step is to find a Zen center in your city or around you. And go there, see who is uh, the master there, the Zen master, how you find him, what are the people, how do they behave. So um, go around as many as uh, you can, and you'll find it. Because uh, you cannot just sit alone in your room, do it whenever you want, then probably imagine that you have reached some high state. Uh, God forbid. <sighs> Mm. and uh, you can easily fall in a trap and there are so many traps if you are uh, alone on the way it's uh, <laughs> causa perduta you need a friend and the Zen master is exactly your friend And I and I will stress that I'm not a Zen master. I'm a lay practitioner of Zen. Mm. So uh, that's why. That's why I'm telling you that the next step is to find a Zen center that uh, you feel comfortable that you that your heart is there very important the heart connection with your zen master mm. and uh, uh, that's why i recommend this as a, a second step if you if you want to get serious with this if you if you don't want to lie to yourself uh live in some fantasy bubbles then this is the logical step go check yourself calibrate yourself because zen is uh, a serious path a serious path What it needs is dedication, urge. And Zen is very famous with this. There is one story about one Zen student. He went on a training for many years. And then to many, many sessions. But the nirvana was missing. No satori, no nirvana. So he was pissed off at the end. 
and truly, truly decided that if he doesn't reach Nirvana on this last session, he will jump off the cliff because uh, this monastery was uh, on some kind of cliff and the place where they made their meditation uh, from one side was <laughs> open. <coughs> so, what happened? <coughs> he tried. He tried. He put 100%. Everything. Everything. And this was a session where you don't sleep for seven days. They make it in December, com commemorating uh, the day in the Zen tradition when Buddha reached Nirvana, the 8th of December. Well, in the Southern tradition, it is the other way around. It is in the uh, spring, in the springtime. On his 36th uh, birthday. So, seven days. Seven days without sleep, just for um, about four hours. They can, they can sit, they can sit and lean, lean. And uh, that's how they are allowed to spend four hours out of 24, sitting. Well, if you can sleep, well, uh, however, <laughs> the aim here is to keep the consciousness running for seven straight days and nights. Actually, in the tradition, I believe it is seven nights and six days. Mm. Yeah, you can meet this in a lot of different stories. Rama, Rama, from Ramayama. Uh, so, uh, this was a serious session, and uh, of course, this guy chose this session uh, for his last ditch effort. Effort. But again, nothing happened. Imagine this uh, uh, mobilization of his whole creature, of everything. And he jumped. He jumped. However, <laughs> how, however, when he jumped, that's when he reached Nirvana. And luckily, <laughs> luckily, his Zen master knew everything without, of course, telling him and caught him into the air. That's a determination. In 100 years ago, in front of the Zen temples, there was a sign which ran as follows. Whoever is not ready to die should not cross this threshold. Well, 
Well, now, now the modern Zen is much more lax, much more westernized. But the original Zen is a uh, uh, thing of uh, life and death. Even, even today, when all spirituality got very lax, the Zen is one of the toughest, if not the toughest. That's why you will not see crowded dojos, Zen centers anywhere. Because few, few are those who have strong determination to go through this. So, uh, again, let's remember from the previous uh, video, the good things about Zen is that uh, as long as you are a lay practitioner of Zen, you can find a Zen master and go under his training. And he will not require from you anything. So you can do anything. You can do anything. You can smoke. You can blow up innocent people. It's modern to do this. More and more people do it. Mm. Everything. However, however, your Zen master will have one request. Only one. And this will be to practice every day. Uh, I think it will be about 30 minutes. Some will give you 20. Some will give you 30. Preferably 30 in the morning, 30 in the evening. Uh, but uh, this is uh, the only requirement. You can do anything in between, all right? Uh, but you should do your day practice. Well, this is uh, this is to be a student, right? So uh, this is uh, important in every path, but uh, in Zen, it is uh, said that uh, that Buddha resembled enlightenment as uh, making a fire with two um, logs of wood. So you start with the uh, you start rubbing it until the heat grows and grows and grows and grows and suddenly the fire warms up. So um, he said, you cannot just, you know, stop for a rest on Hawaii, right? You cannot do this because you stop only for a few seconds, and then you must start anew. That's why. That's why. And of course, this is a uh, like self understood from the supposition that uh, being a student means that you should study, right? Okay. Um, <clears throat> well. Uh, let's say, in the end, another thing. 
um, when you start practicing, um, something should happen. Something should happen at some point. Well, then maybe nothing, but its effects are everything. So, um, <clears throat> if you just sit and nothing happens, nothing uh, just to, how to say, to nothing uh, extraordinary, you just sit, sit there and, okay, you have some clarity, maybe, or you're bored, or you just watch your thoughts. Uh, and then, that's it. Some, some people spend a life like this, which is uh, not good. <laughs> Something must happen. And rather it be quick in few years. If nothing happens, you just increase the time of meditating more and more. Don't be afraid that you'll freak out. No, no, no. You'll not freak out. Unless you are a freak already. Or there is a freak hidden there behind your persona. You will always come back. Even if you reach Satori. So... Uh, this fear that you cannot come back is just uh, holding you back. No, if if the bird has fear that she will not be able to come to the nest, uh. <laughs> Anyway, uh, these were the important points that I wanted to uh, stress. Of course, if you have a Zen master, then you will discuss this with him. What must happen? Well, you must reach a state of concentration that Buddha has uh, talked about and which uh, he names Jhana, which means ecstasy, ecstasy. And this is just a measure of how strong is your concentration. And he also says that these chhanas are on eight levels. Eight levels. On the, for example, on the fourth level, he says that mm, your body dis disappears. And he also says that even if someone uh makes a huge noise let's say let's modernize it uh artillery shell artillery shell they put this bomb by the ear of the of this guy in the fourth stage of uh, chana or or fourth stage of uh ecstasy he will not tremble he will not hear it He's not here. He's everywhere. 
and they are much much bigger banks than this one so um this is uh this is serious real stuff um this is these are not uh, fairy tales the nothing is real okay ciao ciao